So are you actually gonna work on your hardcore character to run through this shit? Oh, that arcane's gonna be no fucking joke. Hey, we killed them all. Oh, we got slightly better, but not better by enough to make me switch. Because I don't want to lose out on all them other stats. Don't want to loot out on them stats! Oh shit, we gotta kill all these people. Burn all the bodies! Oh hey, there's a cursed chest. We have to do this stuff to get it. Well, I know you died at 16 by a mini boss with one of your characters, but that doesn't mean you can't make another one. And I know we talked about you waiting for me to come help you, but... Oh man, both of these are bad. I guess my... My defense doesn't take too much of a hit? Whereas this one, yeah. Like, yeah, it takes a significant hit. I'm keeping that one equipped. For now. We'll see. I mean, even if I did equip it, by like... By the time it matters, I'll have a much better weapon. Especially with the fact that I'm about to hit 62, and the fact that I've been picking up pretty good gear. What am I doing in here? I think I just went into a cave, and now I'm just... wandering through a cave. Oh well, experience. Reasons. I like that they finally reused the Wither Moth um, enemy as a skin, because you only run into like two or three of them in the entire campaign, and it's all in like the first act. And they were a really cool, kind of intimidating, like, bug character to fight. So, you know, appreciate the character model, or the enemy model. There they are. Those things just look cool. I'm murdering the shit out of them, but whatever. Shut up, you're not my dad. I say that a lot. A lot, I say. So, Tony, are you going to hang out in the stream for the big-ass Dark Souls 2 marathon that's coming up? Tomorrow through Infinium. Oh, good stretch. Boop. Let's see. Damn. I do so much damage, I don't even have to actually attack half these guys. I can just sit there and use the rain of arrows to cause concentrated damage. Man, if I could build up thorns on a character like this, that would be fucking cool. Because I actually, I actually do take a fair amount of damage. Um, that would be awesome if we could do some co-op shit in the game together. Um, however, you know how the co-op works in that game? It's kind of randomized and it, you know, there's no guarantee that I'll ever be able to find you to summon you. Um, I think they did something that allows you to summon your friends into the game for this release. Um, I know they did for Bloodborne where, where you each basically come up with a password and enter it together and then you more or less exclusively join uh, up with each other, which is a cool way of doing it, a cool way of making sure you can play with your friends in the weird random co-op mode that is the Dark Souls co-op and Bloodborne co-op. But um, I don't know. Like, 
that seem that seems like such a disingenuous way to get people on your friends list to buy the game because they're like, oh man, it said it was co-op, but there's no fucking co-op. This is not the passage I'm looking for. This is not the passage I'm looking for. Okay, we know this now. Um, oh shit, I cleared my way through the whole thing. So we've got to get. There's another one. This is such a huge area, which I guess is cool if you're having fun running around, but I'm more interested in beating this, to be perfectly honest. And hey, you know what? I don't think um, me trying to help you level your character would help you at all in uh, Hardcore. Because if I remember correctly, there's no apprentice mode in Hardcore, and the game is automatically set, or sets the difficulty uh, based on the highest level character in the game. As well as, you know, the co-op modifiers and everything like that. So I have a feeling if I jumped in your game, and we can test this with a low level character to see if you can do anything at all. Um, but... Yeah, we can test this in a low-level game, because, you know, if you lose a level 2 character, I mean, who fucking cares? That's like three seconds of time, you know what I mean? But um, I would hate to jump in on, like, a level 20 character that you've been working on for a little bit, and then you immediately get one-shotted by, like, you know, an enemy fart. That would be no bueno. I would definitely recommend looking up the co-op first before picking it up specifically for co-op. And I'm referring to Dark Souls 2 because, yes, there's co-op, but if you're trying to play the game co-op with just your friends, I feel like the game is kind of a disappointment in that regard. Because the co-op is honestly, it's sporadic, uh, first of all. You can only use it in certain areas, and it's based on the other player laying down the summon sign, right? So it's sporadic in that sense, and then the characters only last for so long, you know what I mean? Like, you basically go until you get to a boss, go through a fog wall, or beat a boss. Which I bet we could do quite a bit of cool stuff with. Um, but I mean, 60 bucks is, is a lot of money to spend for the possibility of co-op. And I know you will actually play and like the shit out of Dark Souls, but you know, I've got people on my friends list who find the game too difficult and would only play it oh, let's take a look at this it's the wavy lines and would only want to play it co-op and then if they don't have the capacity or the ability to do that with you know your friends specifically the people on your friends list then that kind of ruins the purpose of the game for them i'm actually going to go to town really quick and i'm going to take a short maybe two minute break here so Everybody bear with me, I'll be right back.
Yo, what's up? I'm back. Thanks for bearing with me here. Go took care of some stuff. Laundry specifically, but you know, that's not interesting. Ah, delicious water. You know what is interesting? Fucking goddamn hardcore runs and shit. Yeah, Brick Squad. Oh wow, look at that guy trip out. He didn't know what to do. He's like, where did he go? I don't know where to go. He's not here. Oh wow, he ran away like a bitch. You a bitch. And you gonna die tonight. Man, I can kind of stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the majority of these motherfuckers. There's a new event. Lost treasure. Find an, a way to enter the treasure room. Hmm. Oh, there's like weird little pillar things to press. That's cool. Did it do it yet? No, I gotta get around to the other side over there. Huh. This is neat. I haven't done this before. There's another one. Boop. Yeah, get them all. You can't handle my rapid fire, dude. Hey, yo, Tony, you still in the chat? Still in the chat, brah? I think we did it. Yeah! Wow, that's a big fucking chest. Look at all that shit! Look at all that shit we got! Uh... A little bit worse than that, but the... <laughs> bumping up to over a million defense uh, really helps that out, so fuck it. We're gonna stick with that and switch out the legendary one. Sweet. Apparently Tony is no longer in the jade. Why aren't you in the jade, Tony? I want to talk to you about the game and stuff. Hmm. We're actually, this is actually going very quickly. Like I am surprised Pleasantly, I'm not pleasantly surprised that it's going so quickly, but I am surprised pleasantly. Which is dumb. Things say. Things say dumb things. So I remember these areas taking fucking forever the first time I ran through with the Crusader. And the Crusader is the only other character I will have run through the entire story mode with, I think. Hey, another resplendent chest. That's badass. That's some shit. They done dropped some shit, son. Son? They done dropped the shit. Hey, look, a guy. He's the blood seeker. That's what he's about to get some blood. That's for damn shizzle. <gasps> oh, it's even better right away! Yeah! Oh, double rainbow all the way. What does it mean?